We are learning more about the victims and the Louisville Metro police officer Nick Wilt, who is fighting for his life after being shot in the head. WKYT's Chad Hedrick is joining us now. And Chad, the Louisville Metro Police Foundation is now raising money to help Officer Wilt's family. Yeah, so much response coming there. The foundation shared a biography about Nick Wilt today and several photos of him and his family and a message from them. The LMPD Foundation says Officer Wilt has dedicated his life to serving. He has served as a firefighter and dispatcher. His father suddenly passed away back in February, and his family says he has stepped up to help out with his mom. He has two brothers, including a twin, who is in the academy for LMPD right now. The foundation has raised nearly $40,000 to support the Wilt family, and you can donate through their Facebook page or through Venmo. The University of Louisville Hospital says a fifth patient was discharged following yesterday's shooting. Three patients remain in the hospital with one patient, Officer Wilt, still in critical condition. The other two are in fair condition. Now here are the victims in the Louisville mass shooting. Joshua Barrick was 40 years old. Dina Eckert was 57. Thomas Elliott was 63, James Tutt was 64, and Juliana Farmer was 45. Joshua Barrick was a father of two young children. He was a parishioner at Holy Trinity Catholic Church. His LinkedIn says he was a senior vice president of commercial real estate banking at Old National Bank. Dina Eckert passed away last night. She was from Harrodsburg and graduated from Harrodsburg High in 1984. She also had ties to Lexington and the baking industry here. Tommy Elliott, we know, was a close friend to Governor Andy Bashir and his family. Steve Bashir saying today he was compassionate and committed. He volunteered and served on boards and was called a son of Louisville. And James Tutt was a UK grad just like Tommy Elliott. He was a market executive at Old National Bank and was there for nearly 40 years. And he was from Franklin County. And we've learned Juliana Farmer was originally from the Henderson area. She was a mother and a grandmother, and this was just her third week on the job. She loved life, and she was a beautiful young lady. And all I can say is that heaven has gained a beautiful angel. And we are learning of some GoFundMe and other fundraisers for the victims' families. And we will have those verified fundraisers and links to them as we find them on WKYT.com.